Here in the U.S., Donald Trump's former chief strategist, Steve Bannon, turned himself into authorities in New York City just a short time ago to face state criminal charges. The charges are believed to be connected to his efforts to raise money for a private campaign to build a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. NBC News investigative correspondent Tom Winter is outside the lower courthouse in Manhattan. Uh, Tom, what more can you tell us about this new case? Right, Jose. So this is going to be very familiar to people that followed this case when it was first indicted in the federal court system by federal prosecutors in August of 2020. It closely tracks the We Build the Wall investigation and prosecutors then, and it's going to be a different office bringing this case today, as you pointed out, said that essentially Bannon and his co-defendants at the time received money personally. So despite their assurances that they were working purely as volunteers, that every single dollar that they raised was going to go to this effort effort to privately build the southern border wall between the U.S. and Mexico that, in fact, they personally benefited either through direct payments uh, to one of the people that eventually pleaded guilty in that investigation or to Bannon, who received money, according to prosecutors, for his own personal expenses and his own personal benefit. As you may remember, Bannon was pardoned by former President Trump prior to him leaving office. So that case, as far as, it, as, far as Bannon was concerned, uh, went nowhere. He was done with that. In February of 2021, obviously shortly after Trump left office, we reported that the Manhattan District Attorney's Office was starting to look in that very case because there could have been violations of New York state law, and it would not be a double jeopardy situation, they say, to potentially prosecute him for it. Uh, that's where we've gotten to today. So we expect a 1 p.m. press conference with Attorney General Letitia James and Alvin Bragg, who is the Manhattan DA, uh, to discuss this case, and then approximately 2.15 or so Eastern time, Jose, uh, we expect to see Bannon in court, and at that time, we'll have a real good understanding as far as what specific charges he's been hit with and what or if any penalties he may face if convicted.